Open the cap and lift the mouthpiece. Press the handy hailer piercing button to release the dust cap. Pull the mouthpiece upward to reveal the chamber where you will insert the medicine capsule. Remove the capsule from its foil and place it into the internal chamber. You should only remove the capsule from its sealed foil immediately before use. Close the mouthpiece firmly until you hear a click. This secures the capsule. The capsule will be visible through the clear window at the front of the inhaler. Hold the inhaler upright and press the green button firmly to pierce the capsule. This button has two sharp rods that will puncture the capsule to allow the powdered medicine to be released. The capsule must only be pierced once and not multiple times. You will need to replace your inhaler periodically as these sharp rods will blunt over time. Breathe out fully before inhaling the dose. Keep your head upright and lift your chin slightly. If your chin is tilted down, the medicine will enter your mouth and throat rather than your lungs. Place the mouthpiece between your teeth and close your lips around it. This prevents your teeth being sprayed and creates a good seal with the lips so that the medicine doesn't escape. Breathe in slowly and deeply at a rate that allows you to hear or feel the capsule vibrate. This ensures that the powder moves from the capsule through the device and into the lungs. Hold your breath for as long as is comfortable. Aim for around 10 seconds. Breathe out normally away from the inhaler. Now take a second breath in from the inhaler, remembering to keep your head upright and lift your chin slightly. Place the mouthpiece between your teeth and close your lips around it. Hold your breath for as long as is comfortable. Aim for about 10 seconds and then breathe out normally away from the inhaler. The second breath in is to ensure that all of the powder is removed from the capsule. Open the mouthpiece, tip out the used capsule. Before you throw it away, make sure you check that the used capsule was successfully pierced and check for any bending of the capsule which may indicate that a new handy handyhaler device is needed. If you require an extra dose, make sure the old capsule is discarded and replaced with a new one. When finished, close the mouthpiece and cap.